Okay, the simulation is uh, done, and if you're asking which simulation is done is, basically uh, this is the continuation of the previous tutorial um, on basically transient simulations of reluctance motor with four phase and eight coils. Uh, so we've worked on the creation of that, and now we are working on the analysis part. So as you remember, we had the uh, windings to be uh, voltage uh, excitation so we know that we applied how much voltage to each windings so now the question is how much current I have in each windings and uh, to answer that uh, right click on the results and go to the create transient report and then go to the rectangular plot and over there you can actually select whatever uh, current that you want to actually uh, see and um, right now I'm interested to see the current of um, the winding one two four so I can actually control select all all these four. I'm not interested in the flux leakage or inductance. Uh, you can, sorry, induce voltage. You can do that. But uh, at this time, let's just go on the current and take a look at the current. Uh, you can see here, I'm, I'm right clicking on the legend, legend and I go to the trace characteristics and, and I'm going to add a maximum for uh, for the traces that I have and uh, and then I press done after I said add and you can see that the maximum over here is 59 um, for the current uh, so I have a 59 amp uh, for current for for the winding 1 for the winding 2 winding 3 and winding 4 we have around around the same amount of current but a bit different Okay, um, one other thing that you can, um, so this is, what is this? This is the current that is going through each wire. We have 150 turns, and the reason that we have this much of current is because we applied 120 volt uh, voltage. So you can get basically the power and everything from this very simple plot. Uh, now, one other thing that I want to show you is you can actually see this current uh, in another way. And that is by right clicking on the field overview and go to the calculator and over there you can say I want to see J. J means the, the density of the current. And then uh, I want to go to the uh, scalar and make sure that I'm looking at the Z directions because if you remember the, 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 the figure all of our ports were um, on the XY plane. So if you want to see the current that is going through that you are looking at the current that has only the Z um, um, vector. Okay, so then you go to the Z uh, vector as I selected here and then you go to the geometry and uh, what select the surface that you're interested to do the um, so I'm looking at the terminal not the coil. Coil is like a huge thing. You don't look at the surface of the coil. You're looking at the terminal surface which is terminal A1 and then you press OK on that and then you say let's do an integral for that and uh, well the funny thing is I have 150 turns so I, I want to see the current that goes through each wire. To be able to do that you just go to the number and say 150 wires I have so let's divide the current to 150 and check out what the value is. So if you go and say evaluate it will give you minus 5940 which is exactly this. You can see that this is the current. It's easier to see this one here but I'm just showing you how to calculate the current if you want to do that. Okay so that basically concludes our um, uh, talk about this uh, motor. I'm gonna do uh, one more thing which is uh, how to split it and uh, do make the simulation faster. So that would be the next uh, tutorial. Uh, if you have any questions please put it underneath each video. If you have a design you need consultants for premium values you can actually do that. You can send it to my email uh, which is comirk2002 at gmail.com as you can see here and also um, please do not put any uh, message in the message board of the YouTube channel because it's very very hard for me to get access to those boards and I, I never actually understood how you're supposed to keep yourself updated from those boards because 
each time I go there I see a lot of messages that I haven't responded and I don't like that so if you put it as a comment I can actually check it uh, right away in my cell phone even and uh, apply it back to you reply back to you uh, okay that's it for now and have a great day